currently the challenge is, is effective risk stratification so that we can actually discriminate with precision and reliability those men that don't need treatment versus those men that need a lot of treatment and the men that are somewhere in between. Currently we're not very good at doing that um, and that's because we haven't had imaging, we've had poor biopsies that miss disease uh, and we've had a lot of overdiagnosis. So in other words we've been diagnosing men with prostate cancer and told them they have a cancer but these men have no chance of dying of their disease and so you give them a label that has no utility uh, you then give them a treatment because many of these men get treated that can't benefit them and therefore only causes harm and incurs costs so the risk stratification will correct the misdiagnoses and also the overdiagnoses and, and allow us to maybe come up with a new spectrum of um, stratification that will allow us to observe men treat them with multimodality treatment or indeed one of my interests is to see if we can just treat the cancer uh, and avoid side effects completely as we do in all other solid organ tumours. So we just heard a bit about that today, um, presented early on this morning, um, and the early results are very promising in that exposure uh, with one of these agents um, to patients prior to radical prostatectomy can result in a downgrading of the disease, and many, some of the patients actually will have a complete disappearance of the disease. Um, whether that will translate to prolonged survival, we just don't know as yet. Uh, and there are trials underway that are looking at interim um, uh, outcomes uh, over three years. Uh, it's interesting, in, in breast cancer, um, when you have these adjuvant treatments, everything looks fine, better margin rates, better early recurrence, but it hasn't translated to improved survival. So we're, we're going to have to wait uh, to, to really know whether they change the day on which you're going to die. Um, and the results from breast cancer aren't promising, but we certainly need to do the trials.